if I'm elected president, we will, and very quickly, make America great again. Thank you very much. Well, that's your opinion, but if you want to keep this nation great, there are a couple things you should know. Despite Trump's overwhelming power in foreign affairs, he will have to work with the Congress to pass domestic laws. Now, the Congress is currently all Republican, but Democrats can learn from an unlikely organization to change that, the Tea Party. The Tea Party was a movement created to oppose Obama's progressive ideas, specifically the Affordable Care Act and the general interventionism of the federal government. And despite terrible ideas, racist rhetoric and threats, the party succeeded at curbing political power from the Democrats to the Republicans. Obama arrived with a supermajority in the Senate and a majority in the House, and three years later, after re-election, it was gone. So how did it do that? Well, first they focused locally on their own members of Congress, and then they were very aggressive on anything that had Obama's support. Their message was simple, and that's why it was so effective. So now and there, in America, in multiple locations, people turned up to protest. With them went all hope for bold progressive reform under President Obama. But they were crazy effective, making sure that the legislation that passed from the administration was unpopular from the beginning, and created the feeling of broad discontent with the president. As for the Affordable Care Act, they renamed it Obamacare. Even if this was a disaster for the Obama administration, and probably for our country, it proves that local and defensing organizing is a real power. And so should we use it during this upcoming administration. Not to spread false claims to, or be aggressive, as some people would tend to do, but to speak up and be an active citizen. So here are five simple things you can do to make sure the legislation you want to see being passed is heard by your representatives. First, you can go at this address to find your three members of Congress and their official website and their office contact info, so that you can sign up on your MOC's website to receive a newsletter and invites to local events and propaganda to understand what they're saying. Then you can go to this website as to find out where they stand on, on some issues and review their voting history. And then you can go to this other website to research their biggest campaign contributors. After that, you might want to set up a Google News Alert for your congressman so as to receive an email whenever your MOC is in the news. And if you really want to get involved, you can research on Google News the names of local reporters that have written about your MOCs. You can then reach out to them on Twitter or Facebook and provide them with material about activism you're involved in or something about your MOC. They might not always agree with you, but they'll always appreciate when you provide them easy material for a story. So remember, one, call my congress, two, vote smart and opensecrets.org, three, set up a Google News Alert, four, research on Google News, your congressman. And if you really want to get involved, you can always get in touch with them. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you liked it.